Good day, Crime Talk aficionados. This is Scott Reich of Crime Talk. And today, we want to talk about a Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals opinion. Now, the Ninth Circuit is the most reversed circuit in the federal circuit. And the question is, is if whether this case will be the one that gets reversed again. So let's get right to it. The Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, earlier this month, a panel of judges unanimously ruled that the Fresno officers accused of stealing over $225,000 were entitled to qualified immunity and can't be sued. Thanks to this doctrine, police officers, sheriff deputies, and other public functionaries are shielded from civil rights lawsuits. While exercising a search warrant in 2013, the Fresno police raided and seized $50,000 from Michael Jessup and Britton Ash John, two businessmen suspected of illegal gambling. Neither were ever charged criminally. Worse, the two claimed that the police actually grabbed $151,000 in cash and $125,000 in rare coins and stole the difference, above what was reported on the inventory sheet. This is not unusual in criminal cases where clients claim that there was money or items that were seized that were not reported. Critically, the $225,000 that was allegedly stolen wasn't included on the inventory report for seized property or booked into evidence. Arguing that the alleged stealing violated their constitutional rights, Jessup and Ashjan sued. After all, the Fourth Amendment was a direct response to the infamous general warrants that led British officers ransack homes, which is why it specifically protected against unreasonable searches and seizures. Police stealing for their own gain is hardly reasonable. But under the United States Supreme Court's precedent for qualified immunity, plaintiffs must show that their constitutional rights were violated and that their rights were clearly established at the time. According to the court, a right is clearly established only if it would be clear to a reasonable officer that his conduct was unlawful. For the Fresno case, then, since there was no clearly established law holding that officers violate the Fourth Amendment or Fourteenth Amendment when they steal property seized pursuant to a warrant, the Ninth Circuit briskly concluded that the, quote, city officers are entitled to qualified immunity, end quote. Incredibly, even though the judges conceded that virtually every human society teaches that theft generally is morally wrong, the Ninth Circuit flatly denied it was obvious the officers were in the wrong legally. This is not one of those rare cases in which the constitutional right at issue is defined by a standard that is so obvious that we must conclude that qualified immunity is inapplicable even without a case directly on point. Judge Millen Smith wrote for the majority in Jessup v. Fresno. According to Smith, it wouldn't be clear to a reasonable officer that stealing $225,000 would violate the Constitution they've sworn to uphold. Attorneys for both the plaintiffs and the officers declined to comment. Further, rubbing salt into the wound, the court declined to decide whether or not the alleged stealing by the Fresno officers actually violated Jessup and Assange's rights. As a result, if cops are again accused of stealing seized property, they most likely would be shielded by qualified immunity since it wouldn't be clearly established that their actions are unconstitutional. Jessup has now set a damaging precedent for the Ninth Circuit, which governs not only the entire state of California, but Alaska, Arizona, Hawaii, Idaho, Montana, Nevada, Oregon, and Washington as well. Outraged, several civil liberties and governmental accountability organizations, including the Institute for Justice, the Law Enforcement Action Partnership, and the Reason Foundation filed an amicus brief urging the full Ninth Circuit to rehear the Jessup case in Bonk. It's rather unusual. The Ninth Circuit panel previously issued a ruling in the Marchat case also upheld qualified immunity for the Fresno officers. But in September, the panel decided to withdraw that decision and file a superseding decision. A decision on rehearing the case in Bonk is still pending. Now, a lot have called the ruling wrong, both under existing case law and as a matter of common sense. The joint amicus argues that the panel's decision allows police officers to steal from suspects with impunity and without any concern that they might be subject to civil liability. 
The brief connects the allegations of civil forfeiture, which lets law enforcement agencies seize and keep cash, cars, real estate, and other forms of valuable property, often without ever filing criminal charges against the owner. Now, given the abuse that already exists when the government is permitted to seize property for the government's own use, the joint amicus warned further immunizing officers who commit outright theft for their own personal profit will make it even easier for government officials to abuse their authority and escape any liability. Ladies and gentlemen, this is hopefully a case that the Ninth Circuit will embonk the entire Ninth Circuit judges uh, reverse this opinion. This is a terrible opinion that basically saying that officers cannot be sued for stealing someone's money. It's wrong. Everybody knows it. And why would we want to give immunity to officers that were stealing money or anything from anybody? They took an oath to support and defend the Constitution. They need to be held to a higher standard. And hopefully this case will be reversed, if not by the Ninth Circuit, hopefully ultimately by the United States Supreme Court. Have a great day.